What is important is the flatness of the rod, the flatness of the main, and what type of radiuses you put in. So a typical production crank will either have an undercut that's heat treated or a 80 thousandths to 90 thousandths max radius. Every racing crank, the minimum is going to be a 125. Then that causes the bearing manufacturer to either make a narrow bearing or you do it yourself. Okay, but now there's plenty of bearing manufacturers that make different items. Now the other thing is these holes, oh, that's another picture, uh, this flatness, I want to keep from zero to two tenths all the way across. Same on the main bearings. And you'll look at stroke difference on a racing crank, it'll be plus one to minus three. That's kind of the spec. On a repaired crank, it's going to be plus zero to minus two. And if you think about it, guys, if you send a crank in for repair and you grind it and now it's a plus one and you had all your other pistons and rods fit and now this one, the piston's sticking out, you don't want that. So that's why there's two different specs depending what you're doing.